Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone. I'm Fajar. I'm an epidemiologist, but I'm here to tell you something different from my previous background. As we know that today, the new cases of COVID-19 is still accelerating. We still can find new cases every day, especially here in Indonesia. No one is resistant for this disease. Who is the most vulnerable group? Yes, we know that the most vulnerable group for COVID-19 is the health workers. More than 200 victims of health workers died here in Indonesia. It is a big, a big problem. And we should manage how to cope with this problem. From a study that conducted in South Korea, we found that the personal protective equipment or the PPE is playing a great role for preventing the COVID-19. The PPE was included in the intervention in South Korea, even though they are now facing the second wave of COVID-19, but they were managed to flatten the curve. One of the PPE that most popular in the people is a face shield. However, there are no standardized face shields, especially that we use today. And then I have an idea. How if I make the standardized face shield that really protect people, that can minimize the probability for getting this disease. And then I gather my friends from, from the different department and I'm calling some of my colleagues from the engineering faculty. And they have a good response about how to make something standardized. In addition from its standardization, our idea is how to make a face shield that really modular, replaceable, cleanable, and easy to sterilize. We split this face shield into three components. The first one is the headband. The headband part is a part that really crucial because it is a component that make direct contact with skin. And then we have a fastener part that we can fasten the headband to our head so it will be fixated. And also we have to think about the comfort for the user of this face seal. Last but not least, it is Pfizer. Pfizer, as we know, that it separates us from the environment by creating some transparent face seal. We have the previous data about the size from nurses' anthropometry measurements in Indonesia that we can use for uh, the width of the headband and the length of the Pfizer. We use the 95th percentile in order to permit someone with extreme size can use this face shield. The headband design was made by the AutoCAD 2019. We use the PLA or polyelectric filament for uh, our material to use in a 3D printer. We have the FlexForce 3D printer that can make our design in a 3D model. The PLA filament is alternative to the petroleum-based plastics. It is hypoallergenic, safe, and derived from uh, renewable resources as a non-aromatic polyester. And also the advantage from using this PLA filament, it has low reactivity with water. So we can minimize the risk of uh, getting dermatitis contact. Although the carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide can be produced if uh, the PLA filament get combusted or burnt. This is a design from the AutoCAD 2019 and also a 3D visualization. And then the Pfizer. The Pfizer was made from the PET or polyethylene terephthalate with 0.3 millimeters thickness. It has resistance against microorganisms and also scratch resistance. Lightweight, 
easy to transport and set the proof. The visor was punctured by the perforator in order to connect it with the headband part. This visor can be replaced by a standard transparent cover paper that we can find in a copy center or a printing store. But still, there are things to be considered when we replace the ordinary visor from this PET and also the visual distortion that this will happen in uh, ordinary face shield. So we recommend the PET with uh, 0.3 mm thickness. The method for choosing the visor was also used as a method for choosing the, the fastener. We choose Velcro as a non-toxic and non-allergenic, very unlikely to make skin irritation. But just like the visor, the melting process will create vapors that will make irritation to skin, eye, or even lung. So, we have three different components from three different materials that save for human. The budget for single face shield was 10,000 rupees or 0.7 dollars. However, due to the single printer 3D, we only could make a single headband for 80 minutes of production. So if we create 60 headbands, we spend about two months of working hours. There were three headbands that broken when connected into the visors. The face seal that produced were evaluated in Unisba clinic. They were used by the staffs. There were no complaint about the headache or visual distortion. No fog reported during usage in the clinic. We went through a discussion about how to accelerate the production of the face seal. We have plan from a customized 3D printer with a different base three, so we can make three headbands in a, a parallel way. Other option was we create some cast and we can power the plastics. The last option was use a silicon that injected into a cast and the price is a lot more expensive than the PLA filament. The fragility of the headband was a trade-off for its comfort and from the evaluation we found that this headband, this face shield, is not creating headache like any other, like any other face shield. Further specific measurement between tensile strength and the level of comfort must be evaluated in the next study. There was a minor visual problem because of the scratches that created in the visor. In the level of the PET, it said that uh, the PET was scratch resistant. We still confirmed the vendor about how far the quality of the PET, especially in the scratch resistance property. The visor part was quite tensile. We found difficulties in creating a hole, so we're trying on the second chance to create a perforating hole for this visor to be connected with the headband. In conclusion, this facial is recommended for the health workers. However, the use of this facial is only supplemental for any other interventions COVID-19 as a biological hazard must be controlled. We have to conduct the highest level of minimizing the biological hazard from elimination, substitution, engineering control, or administrative control. We can't rely on the PPE use only. That was my presentation. If you want to see another vlog inside my channel, and you can find other videos that might be useful for you. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.